Jesus, you're a rough old driver, aren't you? That's the bump, bumpy roads, bumpy roads, like. We're the finest <laughs> detractor drivers in Cork, I tell you. You're just not me around here, no end, like, no respect. I have to go rowing again this evening. I need my body parts intact. I like a pretty cow. Hello, my name's John Halton. I'm a dairy farmer, agri TikToker, and this is Athletes and Tractors getting milk. We're off to pick up Paul O'Donovan in this lovely Massey tractor, so come on. Alright, thanks for picking me up there, John. It was a tough training session. It was. Aye, the okay. hardest of training sessions. You're busy yourself. Oh, flat out. What time would you make a start to your day at? Oh, we'd probably start a good cup of tea there at kind of half five, quarter to six. What about yourself? Oh, geez, even it easy, but I've been up since four o'clock. Only four? I think my longest day finished around, yeah, quit at 12 o'clock and have a Snapchat to prove that. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. on Snapchat, it's official, so. Oh yeah, well. <laughs> and there's a bit of a traffic jam here now, who's going to, he's, he's reversing here for us, the old cattle lorry, is it? Nice. Fine wagon. Oh yeah, um, big, big wagons. Rowan, like, what is your really training routine? In the morning, we get up early and uh, two or two and a half hours of a long, steady kind of row, maybe some intervals at, at race pace. And what would be race pace like? I suppose um, in terms of how would you explain race pace? The pace we do when we're racing, John, naturally enough. Yeah. By definition, that would be race pace. Three days a week then we do a bit of weightlifting in the gym. So it's never skip leg day? Never skip leg no, day, no, yeah. No, that's no, the, that's the legs are the most important actually in rowing. A lot of people don't realise it. They think it's all arms and upper body, but I'd have fairly weak arms now. I don't think I'd be Aye. much good at uh, piking hay or something, you know. I yeah, throwing uh, tires. So Paul, I believe you grew up on a dairy farm. That's right, John. I'd be no stranger to the hard work myself. The old man had a few milking cattle there when we were younger, so um, we were well used to the, the early mornings with that. But we wanted the easy way in life then, so we Aye, we yeah, kind of yeah. headed down the rowing path, you know. Looking back now, we're really grateful of the, the base work that we, we built up on the farm. George throwing bales of hay around the place gave us some great strength and endurance. And, I give uh, you a great base and like. It would, yeah, 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 it really sets you up then. So I think if we hadn't had that as young lads, I don't think we'd have stuck out the rowing then. It might have been a bit too much for us. You would have took an easier lifestyle, you think? Yeah, even easier again. Even easier again, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. After spending so many years working on a farm now and making your life out of it, are you still as passionate as you are back oh, in yes. those days? Very passionate. I, I love my cows. I love my machinery. Like, we've one cow, she loves uh, digestive biscuits. Oh, yeah. You'd be in the parlour with a cup of tea there and you'd be milking away, and she's always the first cow there on her own. And she's very her, keen. Her head is up. Yeah. Especially when you tail wagging. Oh, tail wagging, and she just loves the digestive biscuit, and you just give her a half one there. I was going to say, there she going to beeping again. Well, I told you drive it properly. Say, I am the lady. It showed us the same love and affection as I, your cow. I will it wouldn't be beeping on you. Good girl, this good girl. I need the digestive biscuit. Hey, the cows are coming across there now. Farmer Snapchat. Like even watching that one, that white one now is a bit hesitant. I was just know what she's thinking. Yeah. How far do you think they can plan ahead? Cows are people. So John, you've got some nice strong arms and legs there. Did you ever think about taking up the rowan? If you, you might convince me now. Would you I think me? I think you'd make a good a good roar, all right. You'll have to cut back on the farming a little bit. I just, you just need a more. Bit. That's yeah. the problem though, I can't cut back. Someone has to milk the cows. I could I could Milk some of the cows for you. Three. Bit of teamwork, like teamwork, you know, that's what it's all about. Teamwork makes dream work. You know what? Find a job that you love and you won't have to work a day in your life. This is true, this is true. See, and like you think you think you found your calling in life? Oh, I have found my calling in life. I found it when I was very young. The, the big cow in the corner of the field was mooing my name. Moo John, <laughs> come here. Well, I'll tell you, Paul, I'm getting hungry here. Do you want a picnic? I'd love a picnic, John. 
Mm. Mm, lovely. I've prepared lovely sandwiches for you, Paul, here. You have indeed, John. They look, they look delicious. You must have been hard at work all morning preparing these. I, it was hard work and dedication, mm. Paul. Now, speaking of a diet, like, what would your diet be like when you're rowing? Well, this is great. We need a lot of protein when we're training because we're breaking down our muscles. We have to rebuild them. Great cheese sandwich now like this is, is, gives us some good quality protein, which is um, essential, really, for what we're doing. So, Paul. I see a big rain cloud coming over there. So I better get you back to training. I think you're right, John. The evening is pushing on. So if we don't get a move on now, I think I'll be late and the coach won't like that. Listen, thanks we very much, Paul, for... Thanks for having me, John. No problem It's been a pleasure. Hey, farmers have it easy, so you do. Oh, you think? Live a soft life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah.